Many of you have perhaps heard that getting in a cold plunge or taking a cold shower or provided you can do it safely, getting into a cold ocean or a cold lake can significantly, maybe even double or even triple your circulating dopamine levels. And indeed, that is true. It has been shown that when people get into cold water, typically up to their neck, and that cold water, by the way, can range in temperature anywhere from low 40s to low 60s, depending on how long you stay in, that there is a significant increase in the so-called circulating catecholamines. What are the catecholamines? The catecholamines are dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. This is one of the reasons why, if you've ever done deliberate cold exposure, as it's called, it often is uncomfortable when you get in, but then when you get out, deliberate cold exposure clearly induces a state shift of mind and body that most people, provided they do it correctly and they don't go into water that's far too cold for them for too long, they report as pleasant. The point here is that if we were to take a look at the landscape of zero-cost behavioral tools that are known to increase the very neurochemicals, aka dopamine, that are involved in improving working memory,